Hey everybody, how are you doing today? How was your day today? Hope it was a good one. Um, you know, I've had a pretty good day today so far, but it's about to be even better because I have some new exciting news to share with you and some new things to play with. But before we get started and get in all excited mode, um, I just want to welcome anybody that's new. Hi, my name is Gabe. This is Gabe Loves Makeup, and I'm so glad that you're here and you're here to hang out with us. You know, pull up a chair. Get you a beverage, a cup of coffee, glass of wine, you know, something to drink, chill out with, maybe some chips or something light to snack on, and um, just sit here and hang out with us and play with some makeup. Um, you know, I just want to welcome you so much to our little YouTube family that we have here. I just love everybody that I have that's part of my subscribers. They are as much of my channel as I am, so I'm just so glad that you're here. Um, so anyway, with that said, um, we are going to be talking about the new Lisa Eldridge launch with some of the lipsticks as well she came up with liners and some new glosses. I only have one of the lipsticks though, but I do have some of her other, I did get a little bit, blah, blah, blah. I got a little bit more from her last launch, um, which I will share a couple of those with you because they are on her site as well. Um, and then we will also be talking about the brand new foundation that she is getting ready to launch soon. So she sent out little cards to everybody when you did purchase an order. So if you are interested in that and you're interested and you love Lisa Eldridge like I do, then stick around and let's hang out together. Okay, everyone, so um, I am so excited because I'm ready to announce that um, Lisa Eldridge is finally coming out with a brand new foundation, which she actually put in on a card in the inside of her launch of her new velvet lipsticks, along with lip liners and gloss as well. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to try this lipstick. I got the shade in Velvet Cinnabar. We'll be testing that out in just a little bit. But first of all, I'm going to talk about this foundation because I cannot wait to get it on my face. But this foundation um, is actually, it's supposed to be a more of a, it's not really a matte, but it's not really a dewy either. It's supposed to be an in-between. Everybody that I've seen that put this on that got one of these cards in the um, in with their package that they got with the lipsticks or whatever they purchased looks amazing. They look so, so good. So I can't wait to try this. So um, just to give you guys a little bit heads up about what it is, it's an intelligent and this intelligently, I can't do, did I even say that right? Did I say that right? I'm so sorry, Lisa. I apologize. Um, this intelligent, gently formulated, self-setting foundation blends effortlessly to smooth and unify skin with a natural-looking soft-focus finish. The skin-friendly formula gives customizable, medium coverage that fuses seamlessly with your skin. Start with a little and build to your desired level of enhanced perfection. Um, it um, is definitely, I think it's like a non-comedogenic. There's no fragrance in it whatsoever. Um, it, the, the, it's pretty much the third ingredient is dimethicone, or the second ingredient, I'm so sorry. And um, actually, it's pretty, I mean, the ingredients in it look really nice. I mean, they're not, they're not any like a really some beautiful fruits and leaf extracts in it. It looks really like a really nice foundation. So I'm really, really excited. So on the card set, they, she had different card sets. There's about close to almost, I think there's like maybe 40, 40 to 50 shades in this one. I'll have to, I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can kind of see it. Um, you know, it looks like a very wide range of different skin tones, which I really do appreciate. I love that she really acknowledged young and old in the ad as well. Um, and the bottle looks absolutely breathtaking. It looks really, really pretty. Um, so I'm really excited for it. I can't wait for it to come out. She has not made a launch date yet. She has not given us anything on that. This is just a little hint sneak peek just for you to kind of get your feet wet with it just to see what you think of it um, and to kind of get people excited about it. I think it's a very smart way that she did this. I think a lot of people... Um, a lot of companies need to kind of take note of that because I think it's just a really good way to kind of get people excited about a foundation. Um, you get people um, a little, you know, because I work for, um, you know, freelance. I do freelance for um, a couple different beauty brands and Lancome is one of those. And they do a lot of, you know, sampling. And um, that's when you get like free gifts and stuff and you kind of like it. And then you're like, oh, and then you go back and you get it. And then you, you know, that's how you get customers excited about something. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this. So I can't wait to crack it open. I got it in the medium set. Um, the medium set one is what it looks like. Um, you guys know that my neck is a lot more darker than my face. Um, here of late, I've definitely been doing a lot more, um, 
retinols. I've been using my sunscreen and all that kind of stuff. So my skin looks a little bit lighter, um, but um, especially with the darker clothes on. But um, but yeah, I can't wait to. I think pretty much I'm going to be shade 17. I'm not really sure, but um, it's either going to be 17 or 18, but I'm not really sure. But we're going to try 17 first and then 18 and then kind of get an idea. Um, so let's open it up and see what happens. Hmm. What do you guys think? 18 actually blends into my neck a little bit better. And it's going into my it's going into my skin a little bit better. And you believe that I'm an 18? I mean, sometimes people just they always look at me when they look at me. Sometimes and I know the light I've got the light shining on me too, so I've got all these lights, so it makes my skin look really light. But when I'm telling you, it's like when I get matched or something in a store, or we're doing some kind of an event or something, and people want to match me or something, I'm like this most confused because they're like, oh my God, that looks too light. They'll start off with like a really light color and then they go in and then they're like, oh my God, your skin is so, I mean, it's like, it's not that light. So actually, um, but, um, cause I think my friend Glam Girl Chelsea, I think her shade is 18. So that's a little, it's a little strange in it. But, um, but yeah, the 18 went in a lot better. It's, it's definitely went in a lot better from what I can see. This one is the 17 it's not bad um what i can see it's not bad at all but i definitely like the 18 a lot better so we're gonna go with that lisa on her video when she did it um she actually did it with a foundation brush like the um like with more of a flat um synthetic foundation brush um i do not have one of those anymore i thought i did but i really don't have one anymore i mean i have like a flat concealer brush but i don't really have a flat foundation brush anymore so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my new refer 31 brush which was gifted to me by a fairy godmother thank you fairy godmother i really do appreciate that um i mentioned her also in my huda video which will also be out i don't know if it's gonna be out before this one or that one <laughs> i know i said that in my last video but it's coming um but anyway i mentioned to her in that she um gifted me a uh, the new set of refer brushes so um the new little holiday set so i'm just really excited to play with this one because i haven't got to play with it yet so i'm going to take a little bit of the um foundation i'm gonna put it actually a little bit on the back of my hand lisa actually built it up a little bit so we're just kind of going to go in and just start with the center and then we're just going to work our way out a little bit And I love the way that Elevated Glow makes your skin look it's so pretty. If you guys have not checked out the Elevated Glow, you definitely need to go over to her site and definitely check it out. It is such a good, really radiant, hydrating, um, like, it's like a, it's more of a, it's more of a highlighter, but you can use it as many different things. And it is such a good product. That's really pretty. It's very natural. And you guys know that I love to be really radiant. Now, you definitely can get this. I mean, I think people not have as much um, moisture or more most glow on, but um, like I do. But um, you can definitely you can kind of keep it a little bit more on the matte side if you wanted. Um, we may end up doing like a skin light powder or something to set it. I haven't decided if I'm going to or not, but wow. Lisa, mm. girl, see, you rock that, you rock this, okay, you rock it, yeah, it's beautiful, this is a really good foundation for a man or a woman, this is really good for all skin, because look how beautiful and skin like that is, it is so pretty, and up close, you can't see it, it's like you can't see it at all. And you know me, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna um, zoom my camera get just a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna need much of this at all, guys. It's like, it's doing really, really well. I'm not gonna need much at all. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit. Let's just build it up and see what happens. But oh my God, it's so pretty. And you know, could the re another reason why I wanted to really do it up, I haven't really seen anybody look really, you know, make your skin look really dewy because I wanted to see if it can still stay kind of dewy looking, which is the way I like it. Um, even though it's not a dewy foundation, I wanted it to look dewy. I wanted to see what it looked like, but oh my God, it is so pretty. 
And I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see what it looks like. Up close, wow. Like a little bit up in here. I did apply just a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes because after I did them, I cleaned them up a little bit. I did just a little bit with the elevated glow underneath my eyes just to, um, just to set it out. But wow, that is gorgeous. Wow, you guys on camera. And you know, this is like, this is like 4K. So this is like, wow. That is really beautiful. Mm. That is so pretty. What do you guys think? It, it's really beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Let me make sure that I've got everything. Let me, let me grab my mirror here. My Jeffrey mirror. My controversial mirror. <laughs> <laughs> my Madonna mirror. That is that's stunning. That is so pretty. There's not settling in anything. Mm -mm. You know, I don't really get the settling in lines and anything anyway. I never do that with foundation. I guess because I'm so hydrated. <laughs> I never have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, it's not settling in anything. It looks really, really smooth. It's making, it's making what, um, if I, it'll, the texture that I have, it makes it look really, really smooth. I really am enjoying this. This looks so nice. Wow. Ooh, that's pretty. Mmm. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back off camera. I'm going to go off and we're going to do, I'm going to just do a little bronzer and a little blush and stuff. And then we'll come back and we're going to try on the lips and see what it thinks like. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, look how beautiful this is. Oh my God, I did a little bit of, did a little bit, I did set it with a little bit of Gucci powder. Um, I did a little bit of my Island Glow, and then I did just a little bit of the Patrick Ta. I did a little bit of that, the bronzer, his bronzer. I just did a little bit. I didn't want to take away from the foundation too much. I love the way that it looked, and I didn't want to add too much blush, and then we're going to do more of a um, bolder lip, so I didn't want to do too much on the cheeks, but it is just really stunning, and I'm telling you, with these eyes, man, today. I'm telling you, these eyes look so good today. I'm like, okay, I'm looking good today. So anyway, but yeah, it is just stunning. It's just so pretty. It matches so well with my neck. It looks so good. I'm really, really pleased with this. I can't wait until it actually comes out and launches. I'm so, so excited. So I know that Lisa's got a hit on her hands. I don't really need to wear this all day. I don't need to wear it, you know, uh, you know, and figure it out and get all that kind of stuff or whatever, because it doesn't claim to be long wear. So, I mean, I have a feeling it's going to stay on pretty, pretty decently all day. Um, it's just a really buildable, beautiful, breathable foundation. And that is exactly what I expected from Lisa Eldridge. I can't tell you I'm so excited about this. She's really not this one out of the park. I think it's going to do very, very well for her. Um, and I just, and I can't wait for it. So with that said, let's get into some, um, let's get into some lips. Okay. So, um, so just so you guys know, if you, um, I want you, I'm going to put up here my Lisa Eldridge video, um, that I did, I think it was like back in May, I think when she launched May or April, when she launched her uh, elevated glow and these lipsticks, they're a little bit more of a, more of a, more kind of how they have more of like a sheerness almost to them. It's got like a, it's not a sheerness. Sheerness is not the word. It's got more of a beautiful, um, just more of a moisturizing light look to them. I got, this one is Dance Card, and then this one here is Atomic Cherry, which I absolutely love. I love it. I, I wore it all during the summer. They're really beautiful shades. Um, and then, you know, then I had um, this on earlier, and this is the Go Lightly um, that goes with the actual lipstick. So it is the actual gloss. Her glosses are like anybody else's. I wish I would have been able to get some more stuff other than just the velvet lipstick. I would have loved to have had this one in a, in the gloss too. But, um, and Myth, there was Myth and there, I think one was called Discreet. There's some beautiful deep shades that I saw some really deep plummy shades. There was one that looked kind of vampy and there was one that looked really like a really dark brown like the, sh the sweater. I just, so many beautiful shades. I was just so indecisive, but the Cinnabar just really stood out to me and I just really knew that was the one that I had to get. So, um, with that said, let's open up the Cinnabar. So, um, of course, this is the packaging with, um, Lisa's, um, she kind of does this little emblem with the lips on it. I think it's really cute. Um, and then we have 
the actual lipstick, which actually looks just like it. They do get a little magnetic-y, so they do kind of stick together. So just be careful with that. If you have other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, they will kind of like decide to commune and become a family together. So just throwing that in there. Um, but this is the shade. Ooh, look at that. See, this looks like a suede coat, like or more like a coat. It's just so beautiful on the outside. It looks like suede on the outside. And then in the center, it looks more, it's got more of a, some moisture to it. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, they do, um, I've heard that they do, I haven't had the velvets before. So I have heard that you have to be careful with them um, and not turn them up too high. Um, or they can, um, they can get a little, they can break. So just make sure not to turn it up too far. Um, and then let's watch it with the others and see what that looks like. Ooh, that is so pretty. You know, I'm terrible at swatches, but that is gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is compared to the other ones, which are very beautiful and summery and springy, which is what she had those. And these are actually, um, on her site, by the way, guys. So these are on her site. So if you want to pick those up, these are there. Atomic Cherry is the only one that she doesn't have. This was a limited edition, but the others she does have. And the lip liners that she came out with, they are also um, permanent. So they're on there as well. I think the Velvet, once she sold out of them, I don't think, that, I think they kind of, they're just the in and out. Like she does them only like once a year. Um, but who knows? She might decide to keep them and they might decide to, you know, keep them around for a while. So, but, um, I think that's what makes it so cool is because we can only get them a certain time and I think it makes it exciting and usually during the holiday time and that's really, really nice. So what I'm going to do is I didn't, of course, I didn't get one of the lip liners, but I did get, I mean, I, I'm going to do the lipstick by itself. I do have a, um, a Huda Beauty and Terracotta to do around it if I need a lip liner, but we're just going to check it out and see. So let's see how it looks. Mmm. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. I can't even tell you, this look is so beautiful. It's just the lips, they feel so good. They feel so comfortable for it to be a velvet, to be more of like a matte texture. It's like a cream, but yet it's a matte and it, but it just, it doesn't feel drying at all. It feels really nice. It feels very soft on the lips. I really love it. This whole look, the skin just looks impeccable. I mean, it's just so beautiful. This color is just, I can't even tell you. It's just so beautiful. It's like, it's, it's deeper. It's a little bit different from my Christian Audette one that I have. The Christian Audette, the Hocus Pocus. It's a little bit more on the orangey side. This one's a little bit more brown and it just, but it just fits the season so well. I just love it. It's just absolutely stunning. This is just beautiful. The skin, it feels so good, guys. It's like it feels so nice. Like when you just touch your skin, it just feels so soft. And it's got such a nice feel to it. It's got a beautiful, it doesn't feel sticky or tacky. It's set down. Um, it's just, wow. Lisa, you, man, let me tell you, this is the bomb. It's like the, between the lipstick. I wish I had more shade than these now. I really do. I mean, I wish I had lip liner too, but, um, I'm just on a tight budget right now and I can't really spend a lot of money, but, um, it's just, just so beautiful. It's just so pretty. If you guys are ever even doubting picking up one of these lipsticks, at least just one, um, treat yourself to it because it is such a beautiful formula. I think if you pick one that's in your family or, you know, whether it be Dragon, Jazz, Myth, um, and a lot of, or Embrace, or if, you know, if you want to go with like, I mean, there's all these really beautiful, I think it's, um, there's one that's really, really soft and pretty and pink that a lot of people pedal. That's it. Um, that everybody's been buying. And there's so many different beautiful shades in it. I mean, you can't miss out on the lips. They're really awesome. And the glosses are really beautiful. I know that, um, the, there's the colors. I think most of the glosses are sold out in the new ones. I think the old ones, they, the older ones they still have, but the, but the, any of the, um, newer shades that she came back with in glosses, I think they're gone. I um, mean, some of it may be out of stock now. I haven't really 
um, ventured over to the back over to the side again. Um, but um, definitely check out check out the Elevated Glow. Definitely check that out. Um, and you know, it's like an, the blushes have not been restocked yet. I don't think I'm not really sure. But again, you can check on the site and see. Um, but these blushes are great, and I have this one in the shade Island Glow. And I actually, again, I mixed it in with a little bit of my bronzer just to kind of give that really beautiful soft look to the skin because it looks so so pretty. I just really love the way that it looks. It looks so natural. This foundation, man, I'm telling you. And between it and the lipstick, I can't get over it. And then my eyes, it's just a beautiful combination. Today just turned out to be a really, really good day, especially with makeup. It turned out awesome. So you guys, please let me know, know down below what you think. What are you thinking of this? Um, what do you think of the look? Um, what are you thinking of the lipstick? What do you think of the foundation? Are you excited? Um, we, I will let you know as soon as I find out anything about when the foundation is going to drop. Um, soon as she announces it, I will make sure that you guys know um, so you guys can put it on your calendar um, so you can definitely check it out. Um, if you do purchase anything between now and when she found lunch at the foundation, of course, you can get one of the packet samples. Just pick out one that's a little bit closer to your skin um, that you think. Just look at one of the models and kind of pick it, get an idea, and then they will send you a card with four different shades on it, and then you can test it out and see for yourself if you like it or not. Um, you know, but with that said, guys, I think this is it. You know, thank you, Lisa, so much for such a beautiful, um, beautiful foundation. I just can't wait to actually get a full bottle of it. I'm really, really excited. Um, um, I think it's going to be like one of my brand new favorites and you know I'm you know I don't like a lot of heavy coverage and I don't like a lot of you know not even a medium sometimes just a light and just building this up really lightly it just did such a beautiful job so I'm really really happy with this I love the lipstick. You guys will be seeing this again, especially during the holiday season and the fall season. You'll be seeing more of this color because um, it is just stunning. Um, I wish I had the lip butter to go with it now. I'm just kind of like, why did I have the lip butter? But anyway, you know that. It's just kind of the way it works right now for me. But um, anyway, with that said, guys, I'm finished with this. Hope you enjoyed this. And remember, most of all, you know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. And remember to reach out and love somebody today and tell them that you love them and um, just let them know that you love them. And also, you know, be kind to someone today. And, you know, little kindness can go off a long day, especially on on a daily basis. Just one time, you know, say, doing some kind of act of kindness to somebody can really make a difference in somebody's life or their day or just the moment um, where they might need it. Because just remember, you know, there are people out there in the world that are going through a lot worse things than you are. And um, you and you have maybe a lot luckier than they are as well. So just please keep that in mind. And with that said, you know, peace out. And we will see you again in the next episode. So anyway, take care and see you soon. Bye.